What's up, guys? John here. I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And my awesome son, Peter. Peter? What's going on? <laughs> All right, so today we're doing another tight medical mood review just for you. And today we are reviewing Furosa, Mad Max Saga. George Miller, the director of this, and is the iconic director of so many other films, especially the Mad Max films. So, uh, you know, the cinematography in this film, the action in this film, the character in this film, directly out of what you've seen in Mad Max before, previous, not the 80s Mad Max, but the newest version of that. Um, and at that point, you know, it, it had a pretty good story, I thought. Um, you know, Chris Hensworth was the main character or antagonist in this movie and his prosthetic nose that they had on him, you know, it looked good some, sometimes, but like whoever did that prosthetic job and they got caught in those angles and the other, other you know, scenes. Could have done better. Could have done better, for sure. And it's such a high anticipated movie and a high budget movie. I'm sure they spent millions and millions of dollars making this movie, right? I mean, when you see some of these, these chase scenes in the movie, and Mad Max is known for this, the chase scenes, right? But it, it, he took it to a whole different level with this, where I've never seen in any other Mad Max films before, which is really cool. Like, you know, because there's only so many times where you're gonna roll up on a car and they're, they're shooting at it or, or, or doing some, throwing some daggers or whatever the hell is going on there. But um, yeah, so I mean, listen, Mad Max was pretty good. I thought the storyline was pretty good. Um, a lot of action in it, right? A lot of death, for sure. There was some some some, some crazy Lots stuff Lots of there. fighting, killing. Yeah, for sure. Lots of fighting, killing. So, for me, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Mad Max now. Listen, I think it could have been better in some parts. So I, I'm giving Mad Max probably about a 3.8. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's worthy of a 4.0, and definitely not a five. Um, Wolverine, I think, in Deadpool is gonna be uh, reserving for that. So yeah, reserving a five for Wolverine, Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll I'm gonna, rate this I'm gonna one give it a 3.8. 2.3. 2.3. I just liked it because a lot of killing. Um, I think I did a couple of thoughts. I could have. It could have ended better, I guess. Could have ended better. Yeah, I didn't like the ending. Could have ended a little bit better. Yeah. You know, and, and there was some some plot holes. Definite plot holes. In a couple of parts where you're like, but like I said, overall, I think it was pretty good. Give me your rating, kid. Two. Two point oh, close to mine. Is there anything you liked in it? Ticket that stuck out to you. Um, you know what though? Listen, Peter stayed awake through the whole movie. This is a huge thing oh, yeah. for Peter. Two hours and 25 he minutes. He could have time. very well fell asleep 30 minutes in, but there was a lot of killing in action. So we're going to give that a good rating for Peter. Kevin's attention. I like it. <laughs> so uh, so you, you got the you got the goods for me, Sharice, and Peter. The whole family was here. It was a family affair tonight, which is awesome. I love it. Um, yeah. So listen, you take your family out and go see it and see what you think, right? Maybe you guys might all like it. Maybe you guys might hate it. Maybe you guys are divided, but that's the best thing. You guys have your own opinion about it. So go check it out. I think you guys will like it. Mad Max, Furiosa. Furiosa, yeah, Mad Max Saga. So you guys see it. So we'll be, in that. We'll be back with another tight medical movie review just for you on the next one. So stay tuned. We'll see you at the movies.